Turning pro is a tough decision for many, but for Florida's Sharif Floyd, he and the Gators had a premonition before last season kicked off. Before my season started, I sat down with Coach Muschamp and uh, Dan Quinn, and we was talking, and he said, um, Coach Muschamp said, if, if you're going first round this year, I'm kicking you out. And at the end of the year, after the Sugar Bowl, Coach came in, he shook my hand, said congratulations, man, go make your name known in the league. And that was him telling me to get out of Florida. <laughs> Florida, very talented football player and off the gridiron, very candid. Believe it or not, growing up, wasn't a big football fan. In fact, the first time he ever saw an NFL game, only six years ago. The first game I ever watched in NFL football was the Super Bowl when the Colts won it in 2007. The former blue chip recruit lived up to every inch of the hype with the Gators. Floyd helped revive a Gator D, which dominated the SEC. He takes pride in his physical play, much like the NFL lineman he not only looks up to, but has served as his biggest mentor. I got to know the Ndamba Kunsu. It was uh, at the Maxwell Award uh, dinner and award bank banquet. Um, that was the year I won uh, high school player of the year, and he was there for college player of the year. And we got a chance to sit, sit down and talk a little bit off the field and just uh, bounce ideas and thoughts off of each other. Um, he's actually as exact same as I am off the field. Um, I can't speak for on the field yet, though. <laughs> Sue isn't Sharif's only NFL influence. The biggest one-on-one -on -one challenge of his collegiate career didn't come during an SEC game. It came at practice against another future pro. Mike Pouncey, the I think he's playing center at, for the uh, Miami Dolphins. The Pennsylvania native admits he has thought about a homecoming with the Eagles with the fourth overall selection. His stock is improving by the week where this Gator knows what his future NFL home will receive. In my eyes, I feel as though I'm a leader. I'm a dynamic player. I'm going to go disrupt it in my position. Um, everything that need, that's needed for a defensive tackle and that they need for their team. A nice combination from a Florida alum who seems to be a lock to be the first Gator taken, maybe the first player drafted from the SEC. Mike Neighbors for CST Tonight.